Mourners from across the country are in Chicago as the city prepares to say a final goodbye to two of its police officers. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live now from outside St. Rita Chapel on the south side, where in a few hours the funeral service for Officer Conrad Gary will be held. Good morning, Mike. Hi, we expect that mass to begin at 9.30 this morning. It will, of course, be attended by hundreds of dignitaries and also hundreds of Officer Gary's brothers and sisters in blue. Ahead of the funeral, there was the visitation. Now, thousands of family members, friends, loved ones, and members of the law enforcement community showed up in Oak Lawn yesterday to pay their respects to Officer Conrad Gary. The wait to get inside was well over an hour, and the line stretched for more than a block. Officer Gary leaves behind a wife and child, among other family members. The 31-year-old was killed Monday alongside his partner, Eduardo Marmalejo. The two were struck by a South Shoreline train while responding to a report of shots fired. Jean Huggy has known Conrad and the Gary family for years through marriage. The family, always a go-getter, fun, funny, active, um, proud to go into the Air Force. His unit is here and that makes it very special. Now, just hours after the Gary funeral wraps up, the wake for his partner is set to begin. Visitation for Eduardo Marmalejo is from 3 to 9 today at the Blake Lamb Funeral Home in Oak Lawn. His funeral mass will be tomorrow at 11 o'clock, also here at St. Rita. Now, after both funerals, people are invited to line the processional route that will be on Western, moving over to 111th Street. Reporting live outside St. Rita's Shrine, Mike Cuccinelli. CBS 2 News. My Marissa. Thank you, Mike.